So we're actually headed over to the land that has recently recently been cleared and we are going to be um, staking out the areas that we need to get leveled so that we can put down our shed and container and we also are going to try to get the pasture seeded today too. So come along, we'll show you what we get done. Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. What? Alrighty, let's go. <laughs> be wondering why are we um, seeding this pasture we don't even have the fence post up or anything but part of the reason is for erosion control so if you don't put something on the ground all of this good dirt is going to wash away not only that is gonna um, grow weeds because bare ground wants to be covered and so it will put weeds up um, that we don't want so we're just seeding it right now and like some oats and some clover um, some annual ryegrass, um, winter wheat. What else are we putting? There's some peas in there. Um, triticale. I'm trying to think what else we have in there. Um, so it's just a really good mixture of grasses and things that do really well for the um, fall and winter time to give this ground some ground cover. And um, should we get over here with Miss Buttercup and our animals in the fall winter, it'll give them something to graze on as well. So we are, you can see, um, spreading it all on the whole six acres. And then we will go back and do our fence posts. Now, if our fence posts don't get up immediately, we already have um, mobile fencing from Premier One that we can set up and use for the animals so that they can graze areas until we get the permanent fencing up. But permanent fencing is gonna be one of the um, next things we're gonna be working on. So now I can show you where we have drawn. So through here, you'll see T posts that mark off um, where each acre is so this is a six acre um, area that we cleared and we have divided it off into six one acre plots and then that is kind of how we started to plan out what we were gonna put where so right up here near this pile is actually where we're gonna start our um, shed and our shed will actually end up being a little bit between our garden our fenced in garden area here and our orchard that is gonna go right here at the back of the first acre. So our home will actually be kind of over here where the kids are right now. Um, and then right here at this marker we have put in, this will actually be where the um, back corner of our shed is gonna be. So you're looking at shed will be right here, orchard here on the first acre, and our um, we're starting with a 10,000 square foot garden area here on the first acre, and then house. Um, eventually we'll have like an outdoor kitchen type of area here, um, and the other container from our house is going over there which is what we're, where we currently um, store hay and we will be building a roof off of our shipping container that we have over there that we store hay in we'll be putting a roof over top of that and then coming out off of it with a larger lean-to and that's actually what is going to be our tractor shed so on this first acre you'll see our chicken coop um the kitchen garden our house um what else oh our orchard um a little bit of yard and then just um mainly the buildings and things that we need right up here near the house to be able to get to stuff the remaining five acres for now so one way back in the back then the two here and then further down the hill there are two they will be pasture land for now and we will be rotating um, the cow dairy cows through there we will rotate sheep through there um, we have an area that's a little bit more wooded you can kind of see over here where we have woods and overgrowth and things we will be running some goats through 
and who knows what else <laughs> you're gonna have to keep watching to see as we develop this homestead i mean i told you we were starting this from scratch this is about as scratch as you can get so it was just finished getting cleared you can see we have lots of piles that we are going to be burning i think we're going to have a lot of um bonfires coming up and so we will um begin these piles burnt um and then we'll spread all that ash out across the um ground because that will be really good also for the dirt and all here and we're going to keep building one thing that i am so excited about though is if you look here and you just kind of like scrape in the dirt this dirt is really good and black i'm um, or brown i mean we're not dealing with red clay here and the reason reason for that is because this was forced land for so long so about eight to ten years ago um this was all forested area the trees were all cut and cleared and then it was planted back in pine so it's been about eight to ten years now and now we have come in and cleared this six acres that we're going to be using and so the way nature works and the way the forest works of everything you know drops to the ground and it sits there and it composts this is essentially what you're doing when you're composting you're breaking down organic materials that feed your soil and so that is the reason we have such good dirt right here because if you look over at like the driveway area let me show you where there has been just bare ground kind of driveway it's red mud because it hasn't been covered it hasn't had organic material constantly breaking down on it and so that area we actually do have nice red mud but we will be turning this into a driveway so it's not that big of a deal but look at the difference in the dirt here nice red clay as opposed to the land where the forest has been um, and that is now um, nice brown dirt so you will see we left lots of trees our land here um, well, goes all the way around us on four sides but we left tons of trees it gives us the opportunity to be able to expand later there are things we want to do with this land eventually um there is a hi. stream you say hi there is a a creek right down at the back side of the property um well it's not all the way to the back but there's a creek that runs the back side back here so we have 12 month water which is another really good um plus to have on your land kids are jumping on the trailer and so here we are this is the land this is kind of what we're doing and we'll be showing you as we go through this i mean really building it from scratch starting at the bottom Bottom. and well, yeah compared to what we had and compared to what where we're going um the good thing for us is that we do have a lot of even though it looks like junk we have a lot of infrastructure that we brought with us um so like this used to be the roof that was on buttercup's uh, milking stand before we had the big building built we're actually gonna be using this as a sheep um, or a goat shelter um we have one of our little shelters that we had and the pasture before we dug up all of our um and took apart all of our raised beds so here are the ends to our raised beds here are the sides so we'll be putting those back up these are the logs that were in the bottom of our raised beds because we did them as hugel cultures so you can see where they started I had actually like started breaking down and things so these will go back into our raised beds when we start putting those back up um, here are we actually had three raised beds over here that are shorter that we didn't get put in this year so we'll have those ready to go we've got all of our cattle panels and t-posts and you know different fencing i'm telling you when you move a homestead it is not an easy task you have well if you're a homesteader you know you have a lot of stuff and when it comes time to move all of that yeah i'm not so sure we thought all that through before we started moving but uh, it's really good to have all this stuff because we're going to need it as we start setting up um 
different infrastructure here and as we start setting up the garden and we start setting up the orchard and you know we can even use these cattle panels some of them for temporary fencing for a little while until we get our permanent fencing up so cool. all of this yeah all of this stuff is going to come in really really handy so if you have ever moved a homestead before leave us some comments below give us some tips we um we do have our water catchment container over here that we're going to be setting up on our um, shipping container as soon as we get that in place because we will be catching water off of that in order to um, water buttercup and the animals um, on the back side of the property and if you notice <laughs> when you look at our property the house is going to be the high point and everything else just kind of um, goes downhill so we're going to be able to use um, the land the slope of the land to help water animals um, and that's gonna be really really beneficial to us we can not only not only water our animals but we can water the garden we can water the orchard that will be here so this is good I see you so stay tuned you want to hit the subscribe button because as we start building all this and you start seeing different things put into place I um, hope it inspires you that you can do the exact same thing. You know, we've got four kids, two in wheelchairs, um, and we're doing this ourselves, oh, except for the clearing. We didn't do that. But we're building this thing from the bottom up ourselves, and if we can do this with four kids, I'm pretty sure you can do it too. It doesn't even have to be anything um, this size. I just want to inspire you to try. If you want to start a small garden this year, start with one garden box. You can do this, um, get yourself on the path to a more sustainable living. I think that you I will like find- I it here. You do? Already. I think you will find that it is um, extremely fulfilling and I hope that you will enjoy it as much as we do. So thanks for joining us on Cram Farms today. I'm glad you have to see a little bit of the land and a little bit of what we're starting with. Um, and we will be sure to bring you along. We're supposed <laughs> to get these two spots leveled for the shed and the container this week so we can get those put in place and I don't know we're toying with the idea of maybe burning one of these piles tonight if we can get it hot enough so we may need to run and get some stuff for s'mores what do you look at you <laughs> all right what do you think if we're gonna burn that pile right there tonight and the reason we need to burn this pile is because it's where the shed is gonna go and so we can't burn it once the sheds in place so what do you think about getting some stuff for maybe some s'mores <laughs> good good idea Hey. All right. Mama. Yeah. I like being a gymnast. A gymnast? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. So we are, what about a homesteader? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to possibly work on this. And if we do burn it, we will keep you um, posted and show you. So. Is that going to be this clothesline right there? <laughs> no, we will get my clothesline up soon. That is actually just the side marker of the first acre. Mm, okay. All righty. If we decide to burn this, I will give you some video of it and we will see what happens. But we will see y'all next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give our video a like, and thanks for joining us at Cram Farms. Bye. So what are you doing? I'm making this. A little fall picture? Yeah, Out I of, did one too. What'd Can you I get, some stickers? You? Let me see. Oh look, some nice little fall stickers and now you're making a little fall scene. Mm -hmm. This is their entertainment while they sit here while we work. Our good friends made these beautiful skewers for us. So we're doing some sausages and some hot dogs. And we want to do s'mores. Hey Riley, you're almost sitting on the front porch. <laughs> what do you think? So your bedroom might be like around here. What do you think? Good? That's one thing that I think is hard for the kids to grasp is they look at this big piece of blank land and they're like, where's my bedroom gonna be? And where am I gonna be staying? So they have some of the same questions you all have and probably some of the same questions we have as we still keep trying to figure all of this out. Yeah.